Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chisha Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Woman says pookies are the most attractive men in the black community. No more wasting time. Let's get it. This is such a real thing. I'm going to even go this far as to say majority of the attractive men in our community usually be hood dudes. And I hate to say that. I honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I hate to say that because it's sad. It's sad that majority of the attractive men that black women have to choose from, they are hood, right? And they don't come with good qualities. They come with the baby mamas, the felonies, the no job, the no car. And a lot of women are willing to look over that so that they can get an attractive man. It don't make it right. I'm not trying to justify it, but I'm telling the truth. If you go to the hood, you're going to see some of the finest men that exist in our community. I'm not willing to deal with that. Not me personally. His finest ain't enough to override the fact that he ain't got other desirable qualities, but a lot of women are. And a lot of men are not genuine when they have this conversation and admit that these are attractive men and why they get women. All right, so you guys heard it for yourself. This TikToker says part of the reason why the pookies get all the women pregnant, part of the reason is because they're fine. But she says, I can resist them. Right. I can resist them, but other women can't. In fact, there's a comment here, if you notice, of another woman who agrees with her and says, I mean, you've told no lies. There are some fine pookies out there, but that's too much of a risk for me. Those men come to kill, steal and destroy. And so both these women and other women who like this video agreed that, that man, these pookies out here. They're so fine. I wish they weren't so attractive. What do you guys think? Right. Do you agree? And of course, I'm talking to the women and men who, you know what I mean? No homo. But just be honest about this situation. We can all talk about this like adults. Do you agree with this fact that, by the way, by the way, by the way, she's talking about physically attractive here because I know this because one, she said, you will see some of the most beautiful men out there and she separates their qualities from their physical appearance and she says the most attractive implying physically attractive men are pookies in the black community do you agree with this i actually had a couple of conversations about this specific topic because i thought it was really interesting i was like you know what is this true right and shout out to this tiktoker i've reacted to videos of her in the past before i think we agree on more things than we disagree on but when it comes to this specific video, I think I disagree with her. I actually shared this video with a couple of uh, female acquaintances and they also disagreed with her perspective, right? But maybe my female acquaintances are a little bit biased because you know, they drink coffee. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. But they were like, nah, I don't agree with this. And it was a couple of guys and some women. We were talking, talking, talking. So after having this conversation with some women and men, I came to the conclusion that I don't think this is necessarily the case. I don't think the reason why women out here fall for the pookies are necessarily because they're just so physically beautiful and they're unresistible. Now, I do think that there are qualities that the pookies have that women find attractive. Right. And, you know, I'll use a friend of mine who actually said it best. What was said was, I don't agree that most attractive men are hood. This person went on to clarify that a lot are by virtue of their pseudo masculinity. They have a lot of aspects that a woman would want, but to a dangerous degree. And that polarization excites women even more. And I agreed with that. Right. They are about their money. Legally and illegally. They're in good shape. They're not pushovers. They'll protect theirs and they give women that emotional roller coaster that's needed, that up and down, right? You know, we all know these women in chaos. Of course, that was, uh, when I say chaos, I'm talking about drama. They love it. Looks aside, this is looks aside, those qualities are attractive to women who are looking for masculine men. Unfortunately, though, as we all know, hood guys aren't a good representation of masculinity and often leads down a dangerous path. But women love the excitement, the lack of security 
brings. It's no wonder felons have more kids than non-felons. And after having this conversation, I agree. Women like this, the TikToker and the women who agree with her, think that what they find attractive are just the looks, but that's not it. We all know what women find attractive is a lot different from what men find attractive. Both genders prioritize physical appearance. It's important to look attractive for both genders. Now, to what degree depends on the gender? To men, 50% is looks, maybe even more. They will compromise on everything else and work with you. And they're simpler. For women, yes, looks do matter for women. They do, but not to the degree that it matters for men. We see that all over. You just have to meet her, her standard of beauty. You just have to get your foot in the door, which is why you'll see guys who women will date, have relationships with, who, you know, they're not the most attractive guy. She'll be like it, almost a 10. But then he makes up in what? In his success, accomplishments, has game. But in this situation, when it comes to the Pookies, it's not usually about accomplishments that other people respect. The Pookies usually possess those pseudo masculine traits that women, um, they confuse for, oh yeah, this guy is masculine because, you know, he'll, he'll kill and die for me, which is cool. He'll fight anybody for me, which is cool, but he might beat me up too. Who knows? And that's not good, right? That's dangerous. But there's a lot of confusion here that happens. And I know the women are saying, oh yeah, it's physical attraction, but it's a lot more than that because we know women don't just take physical attraction into consideration and that's it. Nah. You can't justify picking the pookies and, and, and them because, oh, they're, 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 they're so gorgeous. First of all, women don't work that way from what they show and what we've seen. But before I go any further, here's another perspective that the content creator gave. Let's check it out. I don't apply to everybody, but this is some. Some women like hood dudes because there's some hood dudes who are very attractive and you're able to get access to these attractive men at a discounted rate. And let me explain it. Some of these men are very attractive, but they come with very undesirable qualities. They have a bunch of kids, bunch of baby mamas, no job, no car, no money. But you will look over it because you're getting an attractive man in return. A man you know under normal circumstances you would never have access to. Because if he actually had his life together and he had real options of women to choose from, he would not choose you. And you know that subconsciously. You know that you would have never had access to a man that looked like him unless he had these undesirable qualities that would make you accessible to him. And that's the reason why some of y'all like hood dudes because they don't have no self-esteem and they have very low standards of the women they entertain. Okay, so there's that video. And I think that video actually clears a lot of things up. Is it that the most physically attractive men are pookies or is it this? Might it maybe be the fact that because that man isn't independent, financially stable, um, doesn't have his own house, women now have access to men who... Raised up by single mothers again. Right, let's point that out. And grow up to be men who can't be real men and take care of themselves. And they're like, oh yeah, I am attracted to this and I want this, like she said. Because if he had his shit together, if he had income coming in and he did not rely on you, well, what happens then? Well, then that man is no longer as accessible. I think it just comes down to women thinking that the most fine men or, or, or the pookies, but they ignore the men who are well off, the men who are financially stable, who are doing well for themselves, the respectable men. Why? Because, well, those men really don't give them the opportunity like that. They don't take them seriously like that. And that's a modern woman thing and not necessarily because they aren't as attractive as um, the pookies. And as always, guys, we've got some comments. Of course, this sparked up a lot of conversation. A lot of people had a lot to say about this. We're going to check out some of these comments. First comment here reads, yep, easy to feel superior to a partner who has major flaws. And the creator responded and said, this one, 100%. I agree. Another woman commented and said, this woman don't miss. I know a dude with nine kids and right now got two to three women fighting over him. Someone else responded to her and says, yep, and these women later on in life will turn bitter 
and make videos about how all men ain't shit. That's facts. The first woman who left the comment added to the thread and said, yeah, sadly, it's the cycle some don't want to break from. And the gentleman added and said, I bet he either been to jail or never had a real job. Next comment here reads, I'm glad you said this because the most physical fit and attractive black men I've seen were in prison videos. Mm. So she's uh, got women here who, who love the prison pookies, right? They, they definitely, that's no surprise. Next comment reads, there's also an excitement slash thrill when dating hood dudes. There we go. This is it. When you have a simple life, that thrill brings something new and exciting to it. She responded and said the excitement of being killed. Yeah. No, no, this seems like a joke, but this is true, right? This is what this is what these women over there fantasizing about. Yes. 42 likes. Yes. Another person added and said the suburban girls don't see that risk. They think it's cute. The girls who grew up with the hood dudes see that risk and say immediately no. That's facts. I've definitely noticed that. Next comment reads, they keep themselves up better because they know their looks are the only thing they have going for them. Really? Come on. Really? Really? The pookies keep themselves up better? C come on, guys. Next comment. The fact that I didn't even know what this video was about, but I played it. But I played it because I saw Dave. Oh, shit. Okay. Face palm point proven. Okay, so here, I gotta play you guys this video. She's talking about Dave. And um, I didn't play that. Here, let's play, let's play the video about this is Dave. She's talking about Dave East, uh, rapper. We're gonna just gonna check that out. I'm gonna use Dave East as an example, all hood aside. This is a very attractive man. His features on his face, he has nice skin, nice teeth. These are things that a lot of women look at when deciding if a man is attractive, and this is an attractive man. All right, so there's Dave East, and um, she says, all hood aside, this is an attractive man. Okay. Um, but but here's here's the problem. But here's the thing. There are plenty of men out here that look like Dave East. The difference is they don't have the street cred. They don't have the tattoos on the face, right? They don't have that rugged look. He's got an image here the women find attractive. And and women can say it's just the looks, but it's more than that. Why? Because we know, listen, I have seen guys who come off attractive. But if you are just physically attractive and this is just not in the black community but it's more heightened within the black community for sure if you're just attractive and a black woman approaches you and she gets the sense that you are a cornball she will no longer find you attractive for most women if you come off a cornball if you, they think if they decide like oh maybe you're too well spoken or you're lame if you don't have some type of edge on you they will label you as not attractive Dave East, it's not just the looks, ladies. Women do not work that way. Men talk themselves out of the coochie all the time. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Next comment here reads, I would even argue that their toughness adds to the attraction. There we go. We see them as someone who can protect us in danger, even if the reality is they actually put us in danger. Nine times out of 10. There we go, finally a woman who's being realistic. And finally, our last comment reads, I don't know how he doesn't have 10 kids, but NBA young boy does. Ah, that's a good point, right? She says, oh yeah, the, the most attractive dudes have all the kids. Not really. If you look at rappers on the level of rappers that women find attractive, it's the ones that you're asking how that have the 14 kids. Like the one rapper I reported on um, recently who has 14 children by 14 baby mamas. If we're talking about the black community here, this has to do with black women having a distorted view or expectation when it comes to masculinity. You can blame the media. You can blame a lot of things. Before I take off, here's my final just take and here's my theory on this situation. I think that the lack of fathers in homes, I think that the growing number of single mothers, <laughs> let me fix that real quick is the major problem because when you don't know what a stable good role model who's a masculine man is what do you do well now you try to overcompensate you think that you need to be with the guy who's a danger to everyone around you okay cool he'll protect you but more than that he's a danger to you 
also. And it's a lack of that representation that distorts the image of what true masculinity looks like. But it's not the pookies, right? At all. But I think all women are kind of looking for that masculine, even if they say that they're not. They're looking for protection. They're looking for that man who's going to watch over him. And they overcompensate a lot of the times in this situation. That's my take. I'm curious to know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. Listen, I appreciate you guys checking out yet another episode of The Coffee Pot. Till next time, man. I'm out. Peace.